Welcome. Today is a special day, Easter. Easter is a Christian holy day, but it's also a day for colored eggs, bunnies, and pretty hats. The word Easter comes from the name of an ancient European goddess of spring and the dawn, whose name is spelled Ostra or Istra. This is where we get the word East for the direction of the rising sun. Modern pagans generally accept the spelling Ostara. That goddess had her own holiday a few weeks ago on the equinox, and today we are going to share a story about her. Look, Margo, I drew a picture. What do you think? What do you see? It looks like a bird. But what about when I turn it this way? Oh, now it looks like a bunny. I guess it's all in how you look at it. Our story today is about a bird slash bunny. Maybe you've heard it before. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a goddess. Her name was Ostara. She was the goddess of springtime. She gave birth to the sun and helped it shine brighter every day in the sky. She was the bringer of warmth and color. And one day, while she was going about her very important business, a little girl came to her. The little girl had found a small bird on the ground. The ground was still very cold because spring was not quite there yet. Ostara had not finished her work yet. The little bird was injured and very cold. The little bird was dying. Please, the little girl pleaded with the goddess, please save the little bird. The goddess was annoyed. Can't you see that I'm busy here? But the girl was persistent. Please, it won't take much. Just help bring the bird back to life. Not take much to bring a half-dead bird back to life? I mean, can you do that? The goddess had many important things to do, but she admired the girl's persistence and courage. So the goddess did the fastest magic she could. She quickly turned the bird into a rabbit and went back to work. The rabbit was stronger and could hop a long way and had a big fluffy coat that could keep her warm instead of light little feathers like before. So happily, the bird bunny hopped away. They say that each springtime, just as the earth reawakens to a burgeoning new season of life-giving, life-affirming gifts, that bunny remembers its near death as a bird. It remembers the gift of life that Ostara gave it, and it remembers the little child who begged her to give it. Each springtime, to return the favor, the bunny remembers that it was once a bird, and it lays eggs. It lays colorful, beautiful eggs to honor the colors of springtime that Ostara brings. It brings those eggs to children everywhere to honor the child who saved its life. Now, I don't know if this is a true story in that it actually happened, but it is a powerful story because it's a story about transformation, about having to change in ways you never knew were possible in order to survive. It's a story about the light of life returning, even when it seems like all hope has been lost. And it's a story about gratitude expressed in generous love. And this picture reminds us that sometimes a thing can be transformed just by how you look at it. Thanks for sharing this time with us.